My name is Nancy Beasley. I am getting a double mastectomy next week due to getting positive test results for the BRCA2 mutation, and this is my story. So I originally um, got this blood test done because my aunt Barb had been diagnosed with breast cancer. She got a double mastectomy and then got the blood test done and found out that she had the BRCA2 mutation. She urged me and my cousins to get my sister to get the blood test done. Um, my sister and my cousin both came back negative and my results came back positive. Um, we got this test done originally um, because cancer runs in my family, so that's the main killer of all of my ancestors. It's taken two grandfathers, my grandmother, my mother, and almost uh, took my aunt. So. Uh, we thought it was important to get this test done after finding out that it could be linked to this and come to find out this genetic mutation does run in that side of my family. So my mom was um, diagnosed in 98. Um, she fought her battle until 02 when it finally beat her. Um, but seeing her go the past, her last couple years, I guess, um, she finally got chemo and radiation and that's that's what I think. I saw her just take a major decline in her quality of life. You know, she didn't look healthy, she didn't feel good. Um, so that chemo and radiation is really the biggest part of this. I really want to avoid having to go through that if I can. The way that I found out about this test was through my aunt, um, but I wasn't really sure how to get it. Um, so I went for my annual checkup with my gynecologist and mentioned it to her and she said, I know about this. I have all the paperwork. If you have the information and are willing to get your blood drawn today, we can do it today. So December 1st, I got my, my blood drawn for this and she was so helpful and so encouraging. She you know, thought it was the greatest idea. So I listed all my relatives that had passed away and been diagnosed, got the blood test drawn, and by December 30th had the results. And she sat with me and discussed everything, looked over the report. Um, informative about the whole thing and what I can do, my options. So I could have not gotten this double mastectomy, I could have done more frequent treatments, um, including the mammograms and breast MRIs. Um, so that would have been an option. So she just talked me through that. She set me up with an oncologist who I uh, met with, Dr. Melissa Kinney, and she, she again educated me on all my options. Um, and just let me know that they were there for me no matter what I decided. So um, along with all the research that I did, the main things that really stood out to me is that I get to keep so much if I do it now before getting diagnosed with cancer. I will uh, be able to keep my skin, my nipple, my um, lymph nodes, my pectoral muscle, everything but the breast tissue inside. So that was the main thing that helped me decide this. It's not the easiest decision, but it's going to be best for my future, and so that's what's keeping me focused, is if I get it done now, three months is nothing when you look back on it. It's been about three months since my surgery. Uh, since then, I have done quite a bit, but initially um, I came out of surgery feeling a sense of relief. I can't say it any better. I literally and figuratively felt like a weight had been lifted from my shoulders. Um, getting used to new feelings. Uh, my muscles were detached and reattached, so going back to the gym is a struggle still, even at three months. Um, but still even today, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't make a different decision. This is by far the best decision I could have made, and I'm very grateful to have had the option. Um, if you have a family history of cancer, I would definitely suggest getting this blood test done. It's just a blood draw. They send everything to the lab and they test to see if you have this genetic mutation. And if it were my friends, I would say, go get it done. <laughs>